just like to go back and end the show with a brief word from everybody about the man, the Cockney Cruyff, as uh, Mr. Palermo has labelled him, who is making his 500th appearance as a first team player for West Ham United tonight. His first appearance was 16 seasons ago in a 2 0 Carling Cup win over South End United. He's 33 years old. He's now made more appearances than any other player in a West Ham shirt bar nine absolute genuine legends of which I think, Breeze, is it fair to say now 500 appearances in the can. Mark Noble is a bona fide West Ham legend. Uh, absolutely. And I think he's, you know, we've left the bowl and we left, we, we lost our soul. He's the only one keeping it alive. He's the one thing that reminds me back of the old West Ham United, not not West Ham London, West Ham United is a guy who, who's every every game, he may not be the best every game, but he puts his, his effort in, he fights, he understands what it means to us as fans. And, you know, he's just a legend. And we can all knock him for his legs, saying his legs are gone now and he's getting a bit older. But do you know what? The effort's there and the passion's there from him. And I'll take that every time. Lovely stuff. Rio, Mark Noble, uh, 500 games at the heart of West Ham's midfield. He's been there for all the big games. He's been there for all the small games as well. He's just been there constantly. Uh, the one, you know, the thing that the, the conduit perhaps between the fans and the club or you know, the, the, these times when, you know, we look at the club and think it's going away from us. There's Mark Noble, the Canning Town boy, West Ham through and through. Uh, what a fantastic career. Yeah, uh, I don't think you'll be truly appreciated until his retirement. Uh, then it'll be a case of you don't know realize, realize what you had until he's gone. Uh, in the Premier League era, this day and age, to pay 500 games for a single club is an immense feat. And I don't know if we'll ever see it again for West Ham because modern football has changed the dynamic of longevity for players forever. Um, I've been one of his critics in the past, but he really is the heartbeat of our side. When he's absent, it makes a massive difference. You notice it. And how are we going to cope when he finally decides to hang up his boots is another matter. It's going to be a really tricky thing. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. He's been a tremendous servant at West Ham. He's been a tremendous player. And like I said, I don't think it's really going to be appreciated until the day he hangs up his boots from his tyres. Uh, thanks, Rio. Great stuff. Uh, no, Rio says that Mark Noble doesn't get the appreciation probably that he actually deserves. Here's your opportunity to do exactly that. Um, it's it's uncanny timing because um, they're just interviewing him now. And his first comment was, um, you know, well, Jeff, he says this is going to sound silly, but I'm not actually happy with the way we've played today. Um, he's got the biggest grin on his face. And, um, you know, he's saying, who'd have thought? You know, like it was only 17, 18 years ago, I was trying to sneak into matches without a ticket. So, um, um, no, fair play is, as I say, is one of those ones that, um, um, yeah, I think, you know, as, as, as Briz said, that <laughs> his legs have seen better days of so have mine. Um, and, um, you know, it won't happen again. It's simply sad nature of modern football. Um Hats off to him. Um, yeah, I, I thought we had a superb game tonight. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, you know, proud that he's a hammer. And, um, you yeah, know, I'm as proud that he's a hammer as he is as proud to be a hammer. So, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, just just looking at him now, he's still talking now and he's, he's, he's talking about, he says it's a cliche, but, you know, this is the club I've loved and, you know, I've always dreamed of playing and, you know, you want to see that in a player. I, I know it's not the modern way because players get transferred left, right and centre and, yep. you know, you, you, you look at the core of the West Ham team and, you know, Mark Noble's probably the only real local lad, you know, and, and, and you, you just don't get that, that that these days and maybe it's just we're all getting on a bit and, it, 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 you know, that is a thing of the past and, Perhaps we should let it go, but I, I for one, am proud that yeah, we've still got at least one in there, and he's one of ours. And you know, <laughs> they've just asked him if has he ever thought of coaching, 
and he's saying no, not at the moment because I'm still playing. So uh, <laughs> good luck, to, good luck to him. Hats off, salute. Yeah, lovely stuff. I love that name. Thank you very much. Uh, finally, to the man who christened uh, Mr. Noble the Cockney Cruyff earlier this evening, uh, Mr. Pink Palermo. Five hundred games, the tenth most appearances in a claret and blue shirt at first team level for West Ham United at a time when people are lucky to reach a fifth of that. What a player, what a career. Absolutely. And, you know, he's given everything he's got for West Ham United. And thank God he had, because do you know what? In the last 16 years, we've had what one or two decent seasons. Um, we've had a huge disruption, whether it's the Icelandics coming in, going bust whether it's the takeover from Golden Sullivan, the stadium move, all the rest of it. And they keep plugging away season after season, Mark Noble, holding it all together. And for me, one of the main things with Nobes, he's usually available for selection. You know, it's, it's an under understated part of the game. Yeah. But why do managers like players like Mark Noble? Because he's fit and available. You know, they, they, you, you don't read stories about, oh, I've got a back strain and I'm feeling a bit tired. And, you know, there was a time I, I was lucky enough to go up to the training ground. I was up at Rush Green and Nobes walked in and, and I just said, wow, how fit do you look, mate? You look fantastic. And he laughed and stood it alone, all the rest of it. And a fortnight later, out comes the story that had been playing with something like a double or a treble hernia. And, you know, it's just an example of his professionalism, even to a supporter. He gives nothing away, nothing that will help the opposition. He's a top-class professional. And I'm just looking at some of the famous footballers in the Premier League era that, that, that he's played more Premier League games than. Ray Parler, you know, a solid player for the Arsenal, or Noves has gone past him. Robbie Fowler, very famous player for Liverpool and, and I think Leeds United. Noves has gone past him. Gary Cahill won't play as many games in, in the Premier League as Mark Noble. You know, he is knocking players off. Ashley Cole, you know, he's got him in his sights. Damien Duff. These are top players who performed for many years in the Premier League. Yep. The people miss the pace of this league to actually get through, you know, for Nobles, 380 games in the Premier League and 500 games for, for West Ham United and still be doing it. It's just incredible. You know, people will tell you, oh, what about Ryan Giggs or Gareth Barry? These are freaks of nature. This is a this is a league where if a player gets past 300 Premier League games going forward, he's done well. Careers are getting shorter and he's done everything for West Ham United. 60 goals in total. Led the team. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, some great uh, summaries Gentlemen, thank you very much for the words there. Mark Noble, what a superstar. What can we say? What a legend. And he definitely is now. The word is bandied around far too easily these days. But I think we can all say we have a bona fide legend of West Ham United still on our books, still giving his all and still doing his best and still performing well and doing a great job. Mark Noble, 500 appearances. We all salute you, sir. Thank you very much for everything you've done for us. It's, a, it's an amazing day for me, my family. I've, I've always loved being here. I mean, it's, a, it's such a big club, such a massive club. You've, you've obviously got the top five or six that, um, that sort of outweigh everyone else. But apart from that, it's, it's such a big club. Probably has probably underachieved in the last 15, 16 years. And we have, we've had three or four really good seasons, but uh, the rest of them probably haven't been good enough for the, for the size of the club we are. And, but, that's, but, but games like this and times like this make it also better and you've, you've seen my career develop and you get, you get a little bit older and people expect you not to play as much. I, I understand that. I probably don't expect to play as much as I've played in the past because you simply get older it takes a lot, a lot, lot more time to recover. But I train every day, I drive the lads every day as much as I can and I care about results and I care about the way we play and I care about the club so much that um, even when, when I'm playing and we lose a game or when I'm not playing and we lose a game, it's, you never can relax, you know, you never, you never, you can never switch off and 17, 18 years ago I was trying to sneak in at Upton Park and without a ticket and 
to, to play 500 club uh, 500 games for the club that you grow up supporting and a ball and a half a mile away from here and um, your family support I know it's a bit of a sometimes it's a bit of a cliche but it is a uh, it is really uh, what dreams are made of and um, to get to 500 and especially on a night like this to, to win to probably keep us in the Premier League is a uh, <laughs> couldn't have gone any better